Hi, and welcome to Make Up My Quilt. My name is Leanne. That's Tiny. She won't stay long. So, uh, week five of Palette Parade is here. I can't believe we've gone this long. This is amazing. So, Palette Parade is where I take you through all of the eyeshadow palettes that I have used this week, show you the looks that I created with them, and talk a little bit about whether or not I think the palette is worth it, that I'm going to keep it, that I love it, all that. So, let's get started. I'm going to just randomly start on some of the ones that I've used this week. Let me get them sorted here. You know, here's one. I actually bought this this week. It came. This is the Physician's Formula Rosé All Play Eyeshadow Palette from Physician's Formula. It is an interesting little palette. There are rose uh, embossings in the non-weird marbly shades. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's interesting. I bought it because I really loved the Butter Eyeshadow Formula that was in the, the big box, the Ultimate uh, Muru Muru Butter Collection that I have used as, um, it's got, it's the whole collection, it's giant. I thought, oh, maybe there's a, an eyeshadow palette that's smaller. This is not the same formula though. This is, um, this is not the Butter Shadows, but it was okay. It was not great, it was okay. And I think that I am willing to pass this along. These, these marbly shades are not as impressive as I wanted them to be. So I think I'm okay passing this one on. It's it's a little magnetic. It's a lightweight, real thin. I like that. Um, it's, it's okay. It's not a bad palette. I just think that I have much more mauve -y, rosy tones with really impressive shimmers that I like more than that. So I'll pass it along. This one I'm not passing along. This is Juvia's Place Afrique palette. I did a big old giant drag look with this. It's actually uh, last Sunday's Get Ready With Me, so if you wanna see it, check it out. Uh, this is stunningly beautiful. And I, I used both the uh, beautiful white sh icy shimmer and then this gorgeous Togo green shimmer. I used the yellow and the greens and the, even the blue. Like I used uh, the colorful shades in it. You could also get uh, with, the, with this shade Kissy, and Angelique, a totally neutral, everyday look with these two down here. You could go with this beautiful kind of, I don't want to say orangey, but it's kind of an orangey gold. Um, it's called Kofi. Uh, Cameroon is a beautiful warm brown. Uh, another neutral look out of this palette that looks crazy. Colorful. Part of the problem that you may be having with this by considering it to be a, a half neutral, half colorful look is this this cobalt blue background to the shadows, that can cause uh, kind of your eyes to play tricks on you. This is not a, an all colorful palette. This is to me a half neutral, half colorful palette. And so if that's what you're looking for, the Afrique by Juvia's Place uh, may be a very good purchase for you. Um, I used two Wet n Wild colorful icon, color icon palettes this week. I used Petalette. This week, these are the new five pans from Wet n Wild. Um, and pet, in this one, I used um, the matte and I did an all one shadow matte look with this. Uh, I did pop some of this in my inner uh, cavern <laughs> for lightening it up. This was beautiful. These are really pretty shadows. Uh, I think you would uh, be happy with this if you're looking for like a pinky mauve uh, beautifulness. And then I also used Go Commando, and I did a one shadow look with this one too. I say one shadow. I always use a lighter something in my inner corner, but this uh, was, I did all, this all over the lid, and it was gorgeous, and I it, I did this live on camera too, so that was like get ready for me for last week. I love those. I will be keeping those. Today's look I did this morning. Uh, this is the Revlon So Fierce uh, eyeshadow palette in Clap Back. I swatched this this morning. It doesn't swatch super impressively on my hand. My hand was a little bit uh, moisturized. But this is the look that I'm wearing today. I love this so much. This is gorgeous. It's gorgeous, y'all. I am super impressed by that. I don't own any other Revlon eyeshadow palettes that I know of. Another look that I did on my channel this week is from Hard Candy. This is Hard Candy and the Marilyn Monroe collection. This is in Silver Screen. And I did a, <laughs> I did I did this 
all over the lid and then this in the inner corner. Um, and it was beautiful. I swatched this out on my channel as well. So this is, oh, I did use the black. That black is very black. I used it as a liner. It's gorgeous. It's a wonderful matte black. Um, so yeah, check out uh, that look. That's it. That was nice. And then I, I went to a little bit of an oldie, not super old, but an oldie. This is the Lorac Pro 3. This one is a fair girl's dream because the shadows aren't super deep, but they go deep enough over here in this, there she goes, over here in this corner. Um, it, it's not bad. This is not a bad palette. It is neutral leaning warm. This is not a cool tone palette. So they've got a shade called Cool Taupe. It's not that cool. This is, this is Cool Taupe. It's not that much of a cool tone. And so if you love cool tone shadows, this is probably not going to tickle your pickle. This is, it's, it's enough, but it's not, it's not that much. And I actually paired it with a single shadow. Uh, it's one that I've been wanting to use for a while. This is Essence Melted Chrome Eyeshadow, the little single in Ironic. And this bad boy is just gorgeous. I mean, it had a little embossing. I've already worn that down, but let me just, it is just metallic-y reflective -y. I mean, it's, that's it. That's, this is a stunning single shade. It paired very well, and I used Cool Taupe and a couple others. Um, it paired very well with this palette uh, because it, it just, it was, it's much more impactful than the shimmers here. And I wanted to use it, so I did. So I, I liked it very much. I liked the look that came out. I am going to keep this palette, even though it is not my whole cup of tea. I like that it is light enough for me. I can use every single shade in this and it's it it will turn out well. There is a black and there's a there's a darker what do they call it? truffle, um a, a dark gray shimmer in this. It works. It, it, this palette works for me. It's just warmer than if I had designed the palette myself. So I'm going to keep it. I'm absolutely going to keep it. This bad boy, if you haven't picked this up or you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. Again, the shade of this one is ironic and it is like a champagne neutral, beautiful shade. So let's go through real quick. I'm going to keep everything except for um, the, the physician's formula. I just think that somebody else could love this more. I think that I... Um, when I look at it, I'm not excited to use it again. It will work. I can, you can make it work. It's not bad. It's just, I'm not jazzed about it. Like I am, you know, like I would, I'd cut your ear off to be able to use that one again. I'm kidding. I wouldn't. Uh, but this, I think somebody else will get much better use out of that and will enjoy it more. So we've decluttered one this week. <laughs> which is okay. We don't, it, this is not a decluttering series. It just happens to be a byproduct of using all my eyeshadow palettes. Um, I am very excited for next week. I still have some of the same palettes that I pulled like three weeks ago that are sitting here. So I've got those. I will get through those uh, this week. I'm going to use those and then uh, I'll pull a couple of other ones. Some of these over here are older palettes. Um, it's hard when I get a brand new palette. I want to use it like right then. So uh, I do <laughs> because it's makeup and I should enjoy myself. But I am going to incorporate some more older palettes as we go forward. Uh, so look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching Palette Parade. Uh, I love this series. I love I love using my, my collection. I love thinking critically about whether or not I want to use the palette again, that I'm not keeping things just because I'm keeping things because I really want to use them. So uh, thank you for helping <laughs> me to, to think about my collection critically. I appreciate your, your uh, participation in this process. You guys rock my socks. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me and you'd like to see some more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. All my videos come into your YouTube subscription feed for free. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.